Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Automoblox windshield for the 5.2 assignment. First thing we need to do is make a solid model of the windshield of the Automoblox vehicle with the line and arc tools. Um, a big thing a lot of people aren't doing is reading through first. The hint is really where it gives you the instructions. We're going to place this horizontal line first. Then we're going to use a series of three arcs right here. We're going to sketch the two arcs with the six inch radius here and here. Locate each endpoint with our dimensions and then dimension the radii of these two arcs. And we're going to place this one last. So let's get started. We are going to start a new standard part. We're going to start a 2D sketch in the XY plane. We are going to use the line tool to place our line first. And the dimension that this is going to be is 3.04 inches. So we're going to do 3.04. All right. Now, I'm going to do this just like the instructions are saying here. Sketch the two arcs with a six inch radius with the three point arc to an approximate size. So I'm gonna draw this line, then I'm gonna draw this line. All right, so I'm gonna use arc and it's three point, so three point arc. Start at the end line, click once to start. We're gonna give it an approximate size and the approximate location. Click to place that. Now see how, once I've clicked it the second time, how I can move to make the arc. Well, we want the arc pointed rounded in the correct direction. So now that I have it rounded in the correct direction, I'm going to hit six, enter. There's my first curve. Let's go to the end point of this. We can see where our end point is by this green dot. And once again, we're just making an approximate. We're making an approximation of where this should be. So here and I'm going to once again make the curved bow out into the correct place. I'm going to use the six and there we go. We have our two curves arcs with a radius of six. Next thing it's going to do is say locate each endpoint with vertical and horizontal dimension. So we're going to use the 6.4 and the 3.01 right here. So we're going to dimension the endpoint of this arc to be 6.40. All right. Oops, I did that wrong. I'm going to escape, double click. It's 0.640. I'm sorry. And then I'm going to use the dimension tool again from the end point here to here. So see, even though that's messed up, this is about to fix it. 3.01. And there we go. It's now dimensioned into the correct location. We're going to do the same thing with this arc. Let's go back and look at our endpoint dimensions. Endpoint here to the bottom is one inch. And from this endpoint to the very endpoint is 2.550. So let's do the dimension here to here is 2.550. And from the end point here to the bottom, this vertical dimension should be one. All right, so now we've placed these two lines, just like it says. All right, we've dimensioned the radii already when we did it in the first place. So now let's dimension the 0.4 arc last. And so here's how we're going to do this. We're going to put one more arc, come click on this end point and click on this end point show the direction that we want it to go so we want it curving out this way so just start the gentle curve there and type point four all right so there's the first tricky part of it next is the very mo the next most important thing is we're actually going to remove dimensions so that we can be able to fill at the edge because we have to remove these two dimensions then put a tangent constraint between these two lines and these two lines. So let's go and do that. I'm going to right click, 
delete this dimension, right click, delete this dimension. Now I need the tangent constraint, which is right here. So I'm going to click that. I want this line and this line to be tangent. And then I want this line and this line to be tangent. Hit the escape button to back out of that tool. Note that if you don't do that, you're missing a very important step. Okay? There's a video right here to help as well. All right, we're going to extrude the part our measured width. So 2.55 is what we're going to extrude to. So we're going to finish sketch, extrude a dimension of 2.55. We're going to hit OK. Next, we're going to fill at the exterior edges to 0.5 inches. We're going to use the 3D model view this time. So we're going to use the fillet, which is right here, the 3D modeling fillet. All right. We're going to change this radius to 0.5 inches. And then just click the edges right here and here. Hit OK. And now our edges are filleted. Next, we're going to rotate to the underside and shell the enclosure to the measured thickness. So if we can look here, the measured thickness is 0 0.07 inches. So here's how this is going to work. We need to rotate it to the underside. So we're viewing it from the bottom. The shell hollows out the part. All right. We're going to use the remove faces, so make sure that's selected. We're going to change to 0 0.07. So when you use remove faces, whichever side you click is going to be removed. All right, and there is the first part of the automoblocks windshield. I'll come and give you a video with the second part.